Let's see. What are we learning? Uh, are you excited? Yeah. Okay. Now what do we get here? I see a hand. I see a yellow hand. Yeah, what's in your yellow hand, Hazy? Water. Water? Yeah. No bones? No bones. No tendons, no joints, no muscles, nothing? So, can you do any movements with that hand? No. You can't do? Yeah. How do you feel it? It's soft, squishy, wobbly? It's wobbly. It's wobbly. Yeah. You can't do any movements with that? Okay, now, keep it aside. How about this one, Hazel? Good. We got bones. Yeah. That one we got bones, but can you bend fingers? No, why? Because there aren't any tendons, joints or muscles, yeah? It's just bones. Yeah, okay. Now, how about this hand? Yeah? Oh, that's similar to your hand, isn't it? Is it like your hand, Hazy? Feel the tendons running along the back of your hand if you bend your fingers and then relax them. They feel a little bit like cords. Can you see? Yeah, I yeah. see that. Yeah. What do we get here? Wow, is it your skeleton model? Yes. Very impressive. Okay, show me your skull, Hazel. Your skull. Yeah, well done. And the jaw bones? Yeah. Shoulder bones? Yeah. Rib cage? Yeah. Hip bones? Yeah. And the leg bones? Yeah, knee bones. Yeah, well done. And the finger bones. Yeah, elbow. Where's your elbow? Yeah. Okay, and the shoulder bones. Yeah, and the backbone. Wow, well done, Hazel. Now I'll just take a look at your skeleton model. Here's the skull, the jaw, shoulder blades, arm bones, the wrist bones, and the hand bones, and the feet bones, knee bones, hip bones, and the back bone, and the elbow, and finally the rib cage. It's very impressive, Hazy. What are we learning? Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, so this is the skull, Hazy. Okay, skull, the jaw bones, the shoulder blades, and the radius. Okay, and the finger bones, kneecaps, thigh bones, and the shin bone. And then you get the calf bone over here. And the toe bones, we get the pelvis, yeah, and then the rib cage and the shoulder blades. Did you see that? Yeah. And finally, Hazy, skeletons, backbone. Yeah. Do you know all the bones now? Yeah, I got skeleton. We got lots of bones, isn't it? Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Hazy. What are we learning? 
bones and muscles okay hazy so do you know that bones give your body shape and allow you to move yeah, yeah well done and your skeleton has more than 200 bones okay yeah. it's quite a lot hazy so this is your skeleton and it has usually more than 200 bones and muscles are joined to your bones and you can use them every time you move okay when you clap hands when you lift arms and when you bend yeah and when you shake yeah for every activity okay so hazel <coughs> bones are your body's framework your leg bones are thick and strong to hold your body's weight okay so show me the leg bones hazy yeah well done and joints are bendy see yes. joints are bendy oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and joints are two bones uh, meet together they make your body flexible so that you can move about okay show how you move your joints yeah yeah it's flexible good job and hazy we get muscles okay so these are the muscles pull bones into different positions yeah okay and we get knee joints see the knee joints yes. and then thigh bone Okay, Hazy, the thigh bone is this, and then you get the knee joints, alright, and stretchy ligaments, okay, stretchy ligaments, it fasten and bone together, and then you get calf bone, alright, and then cartilage grows, end of the bones, it stops the hard ends of the bones rubbing against each other where they meet okay yeah and tendons are like strings trying your muscles to your bones and muscles pull bones into different positions okay and joints are the bendy bits where two bones meet so we all need bones to move around Well done, Hazy. Let's explore that now. Okay. So, Hazy. Okay. Show me the red spongy. Yeah. That's called the red bone marrow. Okay. Can you touch and feel it? Yeah. Red bone marrow. It has a very important job. It has a very important job. It makes new blood cells and sends them out into your blood to replace all dead ones. Yes. Okay. And then Hazel, we get the outer layer. So this is your outer layer. This is your outer layer. Yeah. Show me the outer layer, Hazel. This one. This one. Yeah, that's your outer layer. Yeah, skeleton got the outer layer too. And this is skeleton's outer layer. And this is your outer layer. Show me, I can't see otherwise. This is one, okay. So the outer layer of bone is called compact bone. And it's very hard. Oh, yes! It's very hard. <laughs> and show me the yellow bone marrow hazy. This. Yeah, yellow bone marrow. See? Yellow bone marrow, okay? Yellow bone marrow is a store of fat inside your bones, okay? And it's all soft and very squidgy in here, okay? This yellow bone marrow. And then you get your blood vessels, see? 
Your blood vessels. Can you see? I can see. Yeah, these are your blood vessels. Okay. So here, see, bones are full of blood vessels, tubes that carry blood in and out. Yeah. So in this red bone marrow here, see, the spongy holes makes your bones strong. Oh, you become strong. Yeah, very strong. And without being too heavy. Too heavy. Yeah, if your bones were too heavy, you can't move around, isn't it? But now you can move around because it's soft and it's very strong. Okay? And it looks like a sponge. But it's hard, not that soft. Okay? So this is inside your bone hazy yeah. and also in this <coughs> blood vessels hazy you get red blood cells and white blood cells okay so the red bone marrow inside your bones makes more than 2 million blood cells every second okay to help us to move around to do our things okay so now What's inside a bone? Yes. Okay, well done, Hazy. Thanks for checking out my new educational channel, Brainly. Hope you enjoy my video. If you're looking to explore more new videos on awesome new science, human anatomy, building and structure activities, artful science activities, sensory-based science activities, geography and ecology learning activities, well as many more other fun learning through clay-based activities, you're bound to find some ideas here that you'll love for all age groups here on our blog. Please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe on the bell icon and let us know if you tried any learning activity at home. Tag us in your photos, like if you agree, comment with your favorite activity, follow Brainlist on our website, Facebook and Instagram. See you soon on our next video. Love you all.